Hey y'all, it's Lennon. So today we're going to be doing a gun review on the Asval. Is it the Asval? 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 I don't, I don't know how to say it. I'm just going to keep saying Asval and hope that it's right. Um. Yeah, gun review. So let's look at the stats really quick. So it's on paper a really bad gun. And is it really bad? Kind of. So, you see, for it only has 20 bullets, which is is on the lower side for an AR. In fact, it may be one of the lowest as far as the assault rifles go. However, it does have an extended mag, so if you're willing to buy that, it's there, but it is kind of expensive. So, let's get stats. 34 max damage, which is pretty average. 20 min, which is like really on the low side. Velocity is really bad for an AR. That's like pistol level. Penetration ain't great, but it's not terrible. Minimum time to kill is kind of bad, because in this game, every gun kills insanely fast. So this one still does. It's just slow compared to most of the other ones. Other than that, it's not really too bad. Like 3.1 seconds, that is a bit on the on the uh, longer side, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, it's it's not too bad. So, per usual, we're just going to take off all of the attachments that we have. And we're just going to use the bare Asval. And it has been a long time since I've used the Asval without anything on it. I completely forgot that it actually reloaded pretty fast. Apparently, there's another guy using the Asval. I did not know that. What a coinky dink. The Asval has a, an 800 fire rate. Which is pretty cool, it's just, you see the problem with it is, it has only 20 bullets in a mag, so it runs out of ammo so fast. Also, like I said, it's pen is pretty bad, like, how does that not kill? There was a whole mag right on him. This gun, like, it's not bad without the extended mag, it's, it's usable, it's just, it gains such a massive boost in performance once you do start using extended mag on it. I, I think extended mag is almost necessary for this, to be honest with you. And one thing I haven't actually talked about is the SR3M. The SR3M is literally just an upgraded Asval. Everything about it is better than the Asval. I think the range may be slightly worse, but then again, if you just want a ranged Asval, just get the, get the VSS Ventores. One thing I do like about it, though, is the fact that it has a really fast reload. It's just, again, like, it, it dumps its whole mag in, like, a tenth of a second, I swear. So I find myself reloading so often. Yeah, sometimes it's just such a difficult gun to use. Maybe it's me, but it just feels so bad sometimes. The one thing is, though, if you're hitting your headshots, it kills really fast. Insanely fast. It has a 1.4 times uh, multiplier on the head. And assuming you're hitting your headshots, if you're close range, doing 34 damage, that's a two shot. And it has 800 fire rate. Okay. Uh, you know what? Just because I do keep talking about how this is a bad gun and it needs extended mag, I think I'm gonna extend this video a little bit and put extended mag on it. You know, I'll just show you my, my preferred loadout for it. Because otherwise I feel like I'm just telling you this gun is just bad. So immediately, recoil is for some reason worse, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad, it's just recoil's worse. It also, just in general, this gun doesn't have a whole lot of range. So I almost always find myself going to kill people, and then because of the recoil I'm missing shots, because it doesn't have any range, I'm not doing much damage, and it's just kind of a mess. It really is just a mess. See, you see, that was like five shots to kill him. And yeah, it does have an 800 fire rate, but that's not helping. I don't know what I'm shooting at. Anyways, uh, I think it's about time that I show you what some other attachments are on this gun. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't really have a whole lot of like super special attachments. You know, there's nothing really special for the sights. The barrel, it does have this, but apparently just makes it more high-pitched, so it's not that special. You know, there's there's really not a whole lot to this gun. Okay, so, 
here is our as well whatever it is uh, i'm pretty sure it's just about as long as the bfg now that's uh that that's pretty cool epic suppressor on suppressor action wow awesome so here's what we got on we got kosaku site suppressor with a question mark for i, I don't know why this thing exists pistol grip full stock and extended magazine i will throw on some other attachments soon i just want to test out these first i'm gonna bonk this guy in the head with a frying pan that is so high pitched i was not expecting that i will say its recoil is greatly reduced but i think that's more so because of kasaku sight than anything else i don't think that this thing's actually that good still i don't think it's that worth it again if you want to use a weapon like this use the sr3m or the vss ventoras they're both better by quite a large margin so yeah i i honestly don't think i would ever really recommend this gun because so far this is the only point where i actually don't hate it and even then i don't like it that much like i said though it since it does have a good fire rate and it three shots uh at range it's pretty good but again it three shots at range or close range sorry before it's it's not like that's something new okay so i use this it's no doubt better but it's not good it's still not good sr3m i think is worse than this setup i have on it but I imagine if you put pretty much the same stuff on sr3m it would be vastly better and it was now let's try hollow point on it so it'll do more damage less minimum damage Anyways, I'm not going to actually capture this. I'm going to literally just wait for people to come at me because I want to see how this thing is. I'm literally just holding the flag, waiting for people to come at me. Oh, I potatoed. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. Oh, I'm actually so bad. At least they're spawning in now. At least they are spawning in. That's the good thing. And now to immediately do the same thing. Capture the flag and wait. Check out check out his hard baller. We'll see. Okay, okay. That's a nice looking pistol. Okay. What is this sight? When it moves. That's disgusting. If you get the skin on it, it is kind of a nice looking gun. My aim is not good. Hit fire is very not good. I cannot say that without a doubt. Hit fire, not the best I've ever seen. Yeah, that's not good at all. Yeah, I, I get that this thing is automatically suppressed or naturally suppressed, whatever you want to say. But, but, like, I still wish you could put a barrel on it. Like, the Honey Badger has the exact same thing. It's automatically suppressed once you get the gun right yeah that you can put like muzzle brakes and whatnot on it like i would immediately want to use this gun so much more just if there was the possibility of me actually being able to use a muzzle brake you know hello you okay there sir how long do you think we can follow him and him not notice Oh, that was a little bit of potato right there. Let's talk about the, the Asval with uh, nothing on it first. Base Asval, not very good. Recoil, it's it's honestly not that bad recoil. It's just odd. Something about it doesn't feel right. So it's usable. It just, that doesn't mean it's good. Once you add what are, in my opinion, some good attachments, stubby grip, uh, some sort of sight. I did Coyote and full stock. Yeah, full stock, extended mag, stubby grip, and coyote sight. I think it becomes vastly better. You really can't even measure how much better it becomes. However, it still is pretty much the same recoil problem, if not the same recoil problem, but worse. It somehow doesn't improve it at all, even though you put attachments on it to make it better. After that, we decked it out a little bit more. We had Kosaku sight, weird suppressor thing pistol grip full stock and extended mag that made it the best it had been so far but it still wasn't great and now we have the same thing with hollow points of extended mag and it made it a little better however it's so bad at range it's six shots to kill now with my accuracy it's gonna take about 10 mags all right 
I just don't think this gun is worth it, to be honest. Not the worst thing I've ever used, but far from the best. Like, 18 and 5, that's good, but remember, it's super easy to kill people when they come at you one at a time and you, you hear them coming. So, I'm, I'm not really that impressed. So, to say the least, is the Asphalt a good gun? No. It's not really, and I honestly don't think it's ever that good of a gun. If you want something that's as well like but better, just just use this. Just use the SR3M. And if you want something with a little bit more range, then the VSS Ventores. I don't have much playtime on it because I just prefer the SR3M or the Asval. But that's really because I, I don't really use DMRs. I probably have less than 50 kills with all of the DMRs combined. So, yeah. To say the least, you just use SR3M. You won't even notice a difference as soon as you t you put on the Vic suppress the Vic or suppressor, however you say that, and it's free. Once you put this on, it's identical to the Asval, just better. Asval, definitely not a gun I would say is good. I wouldn't use it. Maybe one day they'll buff it, but for now, it's not really in a much of a usable state. All right, well, that's about it for the Aswell gun review. For some reason, this thing has two stocks. I couldn't tell you why. That's, uh, that's okay. That's pretty cool. Anyways, that's about it for the Aswell gun review. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have anything you want me to review next, let me know. And other than that, that's about it. Bye.